If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Fuck you. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Eat shit. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Dumb cunt. <laughs> What is going on, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters? It's your boy, The Truth 31. Hit like, subscribe for all that DC goodness on that face, neck, and chest. And this is a video I want to do on why I think Zack Snyder's Just League is the perfect platform for HBO Max for part two and part three, and why it's not for a theatrical release. So without further ado, let's get into this bitch. Trust me. Now, we all know Zack Snyder's Just League is a global phenomenon. People love it. People are excited. And this is why I think it's perfect for HBO Max because long form storytelling. We all know Zack Snyder likes to take his time to tell the story, to develop the characters. And Zack Snyder would have total creative control over what he wants to do with the characters and with the story and the runtime. Because if it's a theatrical release, Zack Snyder will be forced to make a two hour and 30 or two or two hour 40 minute Just League movie at best, at most. And this is why we love Zack Snyder's Just League on HBO Max because it's a four hour movie that develops everything but at the same time, the pacing is so brisk and it doesn't feel like a four-hour movie. It takes its time to tell the story, to develop the characters, and that's why we all love it. And that's why it's one of the biggest superhero movies of the year. You know that flapping thing you were doing with your mouth just then? You mean expressing my opinion? Yeah, that. No more of that. And it's also rated R. Even though I don't know why it's rated R in the first place, it doesn't really need to be rated R. But the fact that if this was a theatrical release, you know damn well Warner Brothers would never release an R-rated Just League film that's four hours long. That's never going to happen. So this is why HBO Max, the streaming platform, which is killing it right now with Zack Snyder's Just League, the steelbooks are selling out, the 4Ks, the Blu-rays, everything is selling out. Whatever Zack Snyder touches with Army of the Dead Universe or Netflix, the man turns into gold. So that's why... I want like a eight part, an eight hour, excuse me, an eight hour Just League film on HBO Max split to two parts, right? Because we all know it's going to happen with Just League Part 2 and Part 3. And it, can you imagine like Just League Part 2 being four hours long and then, and then Just League Part 3 being another four hour long epic? Like that's what we want. And that's the perfect platform to do it, in my opinion. I'm not joking. Do you see me fucking laughing, my nigga? I ain't fucking laughing. Like, I don't want Warner Brothers to come in and chop up Zack Snyder's Just League into a two-hour and 20-minute film. We saw that shit already with Joss League. And I don't think Zack Snyder would ever want to do that again. I don't think Zack Snyder wants to go back to that unhealthy, toxic, toxic environment. So that's why HBO Max and David Zaslav comes in with the merger. And I believe David Zaslav will talk to Zack Snyder and the, and the executives over HBO Max. Like, listen, this is what I want to do. This is my plan. I want to have total creative control over the characters, over the story. I don't want to have to worry about, you know, a two-hour runtime. And I don't want to deal with any of that nonsense. So just let me do what I got to do with my crew, with my people. And, you know, let me tell the best superhero story that to the to the best of my ability and i believe zack snyder will do that and i believe the executives over hbo max and over there i think they will let him do it in my opinion right so it's a win-win it's a win-win for us the audience to get as much zack snyder's just the content as we can possibly get and it's also a big win for zack snyder to do whatever he needs to do and, and the fact that he will have creative control and the fact that the actors love working with Zack Snyder and they will come back in a fucking heartbeat to do whatever Zack Snyder tells him to do because he's Zack Snyder. Who the fuck are you? So those are my thoughts, my beautiful DC brothers and sisters. Let me know what you think. Do you think I'm, I'm crazy or do you think truth? You're toxic. You don't know what you're talking about. Stop it right now. It's not going to happen. It's, it's going to be a theatrical release only. Or are you on my side? You're like, you know what? HBO Max streaming service. Where Zack Snyder can tell a story, however he wants to tell it, without a run time, without a you know a run a runtime mandate. I think that's a pretty good idea. I think that's pretty smart. So as always, my brief with these brothers and sisters. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, all that good stuff. Follow me on Discord as well if you haven't already to be part of the Truth Army. And as always, I want to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Share the video and uh, let me know what you think. Because Zack Snyder's Justice Part Two and Part Three, it's coming. It's science. <laughs>